long time no see all of a sudden we're back and it is now full-blown winter it's absolutely freezing outside and it is now bobble hat season which means that i can have a dead trim until summer and nobody will even know because your boy is going to be living in bobble hats but anyway more to the point today we have got something very very exciting happening to vera so today we will be kissing goodbye to these very very comfortable seats which i'm actually quite well i'm quite sad about it in a way because these seats are the most comfortable things in the world they are literally like sitting in an armchair but you know going sideways skidding about like this is not ideal you can probably imagine what we've purchased and that should be some bucket seats haha <laughs> so these are the seats in question damn and they shall be going and her full sparko bucket seats which i'm actually pretty gassed about and the reason i'm so gassed is that all the hard work has been done in the fact that they are already on 940 rails so it's basically just take these ones out bang that straight in that was like the main reason i bought the seats because they came up like on Facebook. well i got sent an advert shout out to you sam thank you uh he sent me the link to those seats and was like you need to get your ass in these now and i was like bruh send me that link now i need to go and buy them so i messaged the guy straight away and they were so cheap and they were already on 940 rails so i was like if i don't buy these i've actually got something wrong with me yeah there is two the other one's in the house um but yeah i'm super super excited to see what these look like in here and they're super comfortable not quite as comfortable as this but comfortable nonetheless now the guy that i bought them off said it's literally just four bolts and then basically take that one out put that one in which makes sense because there are one door three four i think the hard part is going to be getting these ones out please excuse how disgustingly dirty it is under these seats but we all know how minging this car is um right so hello i can't see i can't see the big bolt there there's just a little plastic thing covering that so i imagine you just pull that off and then here apparently there's a screw which i've been pissing about looking for and it's like down here somewhere oh it's there and then the bolt for the front's underneath there basically we've got to take this cover off here which i have done on the other side but look at the state of this do i want to be putting my bare fingers in here absolutely fucking not no are we going to do it anyway for the sake of some bucket seats absolutely nice Right, so I've got these two bolts um, open now, and with the help of good old WD Dizzle, we have managed to get them moving, which is good, always good. Right, I don't even want to talk about, let me put the bolt, I don't even want to talk about the amount of swear words that I have just said, um, trying to get this bolt out of that seat rail there. Oh my God, is that a bastard to get out? I don't know whether it's just mine, I mean the bolt looks pretty fucked, but uh yeah fuck ever doing that again on we go right so now it's just these two there's one there one here there's a stupid bit of plastic which means you can't get to the bolt but i'll shove that back hopefully this well these aren't going to be anywhere as bad as that back one there because fuck me that one made me extremely angry many many angry words were said <sighs> I can tell you this for free, so good job I love the smell of WD-40 because I'm constantly stinking of the stuff with this car. Pfft. All I ever stink like is oil or WD-40. To be fair, WD-40 does smell pink, so if they actually made an, like a perfume that smelled like WD does, well, I would buy it, I'm not going to lie. Right, after a few more swear words, um, all four bolts are out and the seat is actually moving. Now all I need to do is undo this little screw here and then that will release the seat belt um, and then obviously then we can take this seat out and then line this one in. So yeah just unscrew that, lift that up like that um, and then just need to undo this bolt, obviously that's for the seat belt and then the seat is free then. now we get the fun part because we get to see what's underneath so first things first we have one in four women are affected by domestic violence are you no 
just old Volvos. Um, oh, Exeter City Council. Oh, so the car lived in Exeter. Lovely jubbly. Friday the 5th of December 2003. Decent. What else we got? Ooh, wow. Someone's glasses. A pen. Nice. Oh, I've got more. Oh, no way. No fucking way. Oh. Shut up, right? So guess what date that is? 12th of November, my birthday. Fuck off, surely not. 99, I was born in 98, but Friday the 12th of November, 99. So I was exactly one year old when that ticket was lost. Right, so that's that seat in. Perfect fit, obviously, because it's already on a 940 rail, so it was literally just take that one out, put the new one in. Underneath on the rail, you can see, there is like a little locating bolt there and that needs to go into that little slot there and then the same on that side because i've just tried bolting it in and those bolts aren't sitting deep enough to start catching a thread so i'm trying to slot that in now which is going to be quite difficult because the seat's heavy as fuck and that hole is only tiny so hopefully we should be able to do it and then once that's in it'll align flat then and then but all the bolts will catch a thread but so far so good Right, so that's that in. Obviously, it's all bolted in. Now I just need to bolt the seat belt, which I'm guessing, obviously, it's got a bolt thing straight through there. Just bolt that back on. Just tighten that up. And then we're pretty much done for this side. We're in! Yeah, boy! My driving position. Um, I've had to sit a little bit further forward. Well, because the seat's so upright. I've moved it a little bit further forward than what it was. But this is um, snug is the word I would use. These seats are actually really, really comfortable as well, which is a bonus because I was so used to those seats. But no, these are actually really comfortable and I, I fit perfectly in these. The only annoying thing is now it is, it is, it's 10 to two. Well, I start work at three o'clock, so I need to leave for work at half past two. So I need to start thinking about getting ready for going to work now, uh, which is, so annoying like it literally happens every single time i try to do something but yeah i'm just happy i've got this one in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reconnect the battery because obviously i disconnected it because i was pissing about with all the sensors on the seats um i have plugged that back in but i'll probably end up unplugging that because it's annoying i'm going to connect the battery back up and then i think i'm going to take this to work today just so i can see how much i enjoy this seat we've started her up and she's well we've got no warning lights that's a seat belt light obviously i've plugged that sensor back in but if I put my seatbelt in, it shuts up. Lovely jubbly. Actually buzzing, like these look sick. I'm, I, I'm not gonna keep them blue. I'm gonna change the color. I would eventually like them to have them black with purple. What we're gonna do those, feed the seatbelt through this hole here. So it's not like over my lap um, kind of thing. Buzz it. I literally don't wanna get out. I just wanna sit in my race car. I'm gonna go and get ready for work now. And then we're gonna go and put some fuel in Vera because she's running low because Red block life. Whoa, whose is this piece of shit Volvo? Probably granddad wagon, but that's slow. Oh wait, is that, is that a race car? <laughs> I'm back and you might notice I look drastically different. This is work, Emily. There's pissing about with the Volvo on the drive, Emily, which always looks like she's homeless. And then there's actually presentable Emily, which actually does go to work and socialise. My commute to work is basically like this really windy back road. So we're going to put these seats to the test and I'm going to probably pretend like I'm Lewis Hamilton, even though I definitely am not. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, I feel so high up. Like before I was sat quite high, but obviously I could recline my seat a bit, whereas now I can't. I literally feel like I'm on my driving test, but I'll probably get used to that at some point. Yeah, they're actually really comfy and boy do i feel snug plus my arms rest perfectly on the sides of them the only thing i will say is i do miss is i used to have a little holder there which was like the only form of cup holder that i did have and now i've got nothing but you know sacrifices sometimes have to be made and here is why i instantly regret bringing this car to work today 
um, partly because if you don't know where I work, I work at Centre Parks and every Monday and Friday is changeover day so all the old guests leave and the new guests come in and because of coronavirus the rules have changed so that all the new guests can't be on park at the same time as the old guests so now we are left with fat queues twice a week and usually in, in Viv I don't care but because you know it's comfortable um, but in here I do care because the engine does like to overheat on idle a little bit and the clutch is so heavy in this car it actually hurts my brain it's probably going to take about 40 minutes but on the plus side these seats are absolutely sick like I am literally in love with them they feel amazing and I most definitely do need to test out a little cheeky skid on these seats but unfortunately I don't really want to lose my job so i'm not really going to do that in works car park although they do have a perfect car park for it but i'm not losing my job for the sake of a fucking skid so it is the day after and damn baby we've got both the seats in um, so i now have my driver's side and passenger side both in and they look sick here's the passenger side it is securely in place yeah i am so buzzing like these actually look sick and when you like coming towards the car you can just see like the sparko through the um through the windscreen which looks so cool like people are just gonna be like damn is that a race car like gave me the boost i need to get more bits done on this car now um definitely gonna like sort out this wrap and get the wrap pretty much done um and then we're gonna get it slam dunked and some um, some banded steelies on the go so bits are going to be done but yeah i'm absolutely buzzing look how sick these look i look cool as fuck driving it what more could i ask for bitches yeah uh, hope you enjoyed this video um like i say plenty more bits planned keep your eyes peeled see you soon